Today is Thursday, August 13. My name is Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from Psalm 139. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Psalm 139, verses 7 through 12. Where can I go? Well, that's a good question these days. (laughs) The answer is mostly not very far. With borders still pretty shut and vacation options outside the province or country still pretty limited, no one is going very far. For some, that's just a shrug of the shoulders, problem of privilege sort of thing, no big deal. But for others over these past months, it has been a much deeper and more difficult reality. Over these past months, when the where can I go question had an even more strict answer, some were forced to miss the birth of a grandchild. Some were unable to travel to a funeral or to a loved one who was dying. Some were unable even to visit with their hospitalized spouse. We have been wounded by the restrictions of movement we experienced in these past months. Of course, there are some who have faced these things before. Many who first immigrated here to Canada did, as when a boat ride to North America meant no return ticket. Many new immigrants to Canada today still do experience that reality, the reality of being unable to be present for the most significant moments of life and of death in their families and among their friends, and also unable to be present for the everyday ones. Mostly that reason was because of the cost before, but now that reason is also because the means of transportation and the openness of borders are simply not as readily available. What can you do? Where can you go? And again, some of that hits closer to home. Some of us have children who have immigrated to foreign countries. We lived up until a few months ago as global citizens, freely able to move about the world as if borders didn't exist anymore. But now the map is frozen. Children are cut off from parents. Siblings are cut off from one another. Grandparents are cut off from grandchildren. Sure, we can video call, and that's great but it's just not quite the same thing as sitting down for dinner together or leaning in tight for an embrace. And as our day-to-day lives happen in different places, our lives tend to diverge. And even on the more everyday local level, we simply aren't going as many places or seeing as many people as we once did. Friendships have been harder to keep up. Family relationships, too. It's not just borders that have been closed, but a lot of the doors to common meeting places and homes have been too. All that to say, this remains a profoundly lonely and isolating time for many of us. And many of us carry the wounds of some of the harsher separations of the past months with us too. For some of us, that sense of separation even extends into the future. We anticipate that this may be our new normal. It is for just those of us who have had the question of where can I go answered with a door slammed shut by this pandemic that the words of Psalm 139 speak anew. It is spoken to the individual, to me, I am addressed in this psalm, but it is spoken as a psalm of the community, which means that every one of us can truly speak these words as our very own first-person prayer to God. Our parents who remain settled on the far side of the sea, our children who have risen on the jet's wings to the heavens flying off into the dawn, 
even the separations we ourselves have faced and continue to face that may feel like the shroud of darkness creeping down around us, isolating us further and further from the world, even for us. Psalm 139's words are ours. No matter where we or our loved ones go, even if we can go nowhere at all but deeper into the darkness, even there, God's hand will guide us. Because no matter where we are, He is there. No matter where our loved ones are, He is there. Even the darkness is not dark to Him. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to our God. So where can I go? Nowhere that God is not already present. Nowhere that God cannot find me, meet me, scoop me up, and save me. Even if I am isolated and separated from so many of the others that matter the most to me, no matter what, in body and soul, in life and in death, I belong to my faithful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and there is nowhere and nothing that I can do or that I can go to change that. Thanks be to God. As you journey on, go with his blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through this wilderness, protect you through the storm. May your day end with rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you, and may you rest in his provision as he brings night and the new dawn.